Mango pudding is a favorite dessert among the Chinese. I had a few mango puddings at the local restaurants before deciding to give it a try. So I thought, maybe I can also do it at home and I have the benefit of controlling the texture and the sweetness. So, my ideal mango pudding would be melt in the mouth, had a strong mango flavor, smooth texture, clean finishing on the surface, tender and soft. In this video, I want to show you how do I make my mango pudding. Let's take a look. Choose the best mango for the pudding. Since the Thai mangoes are widely available in this season, I've tested on uh, different types and finally settled with this dragon mango. Now your choice, it depends on what mango is available, but always choose the mango that is slightly past ripe. See, the skin may have some black speck and it may feel somewhat soft when touched. It may have a little sticky saps on the surface. It definitely may not be the best appearance, but it produced the sweetest puree. Cut the mango into half. Use a knife to cut crisscross on the flesh to make some dices. Remove it for the subsequent step. Remove the remaining flesh from the skin and the pith. The easiest way is to use a metal spoon to scrape the skin and the pith lightly. Place the mango flesh into the blender. Add the amount of water as indicated in the recipe. Blend the mango until it becomes a smooth puree. Blend the mango flesh with water together is easier and can produce a smoother puree than blending the mango alone. Pour the puree mango through a wire mesh strainer. Use the back of the metal spoon to press and stir lightly so that the puree will pass through the strainer. This process will remove the fiber as much as possible. This step is essential to ensure the pudding has a smooth texture. Add the cream and milk to the puree. If you prefer a less creamy texture, reduce the amount of cream and substitute with milk or water. Put some cold water in a small pan. And then dissolve the gelatin into the water.
if you add the gelatin directly into hot water, it will stick together and form lumps. So give it a few stir and let it sit for 5 minutes to allow it to bloom. Now add the sugar into the bloom gelatin. Heat it slowly until the sugar dissolves. Gelatin will dissolve above 37 degrees Celsius. Then, when the temperature increases, the sugar will dissolve subsequently. So once the sugar is dissolved, remove from heat. Do not heat up to near boiling point, as boiling can destroy the ability of gelatin to set. Pour the gelatin mixture slowly into the mango puree mixture. Keep stirring but not too vigorous to avoid creating too many bubbles. Once the mixture is well combined, pour it through the strainer for the second time. First, it removes any lumps of gelatin and catch any fiber that may seep through the first round of straining. Secondly, it breaks the bubbles so that the final mixture has a clean and shiny surface. Fill up some mango cubes in the cup or ramekin. Fill up the molds with the mixture. Use the tip of the fold kitchen tissue to break the bubbles. Cover with cling film and chew for at least 2 hours or until the pudding is set. This is how I prepare the classic dim sum style mango pudding. You can download the recipe and read more details about it at tasteasianfood.com mango pudding. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. You'll find there are many more of the similar videos out there. Until then, my name is KB Kwan. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.